principle used for the liquefaction of the gases is Joule-Thomson effect. It states that when a highly compressed gas is suddenly allowed to expand, it causes cooling. Do you know that the machineries today, like the AC refrigerators, use the compressors in order to get more drop in temperature by applying the Joule-Thomson effect? So let's discuss the mechanism of the Joule-Thomson effect. As you can see here in a diagram that the gas molecules are passed from a high pressure region to the low pressure region through a porous material. So at a high pressure the gas molecules are compressed here. Due to the decrease in the kinetic energy of the molecules they come closer and attract each other. When the gas molecules are allowed to pass through this, this porous material or through a small nozzle towards the low pressure region, what happened? They expand and move far apart from each other with the increase in the kinetic energy of the molecules. So, during the free expansion, the compressed gas molecules use their own energy to overcome the attractive forces and become separated. When the energy of the gas molecules decreases, the gas molecules become cooled. After several cycles of the compression and the free expansion of the gas, change into the liquid state. Most methods of the liquefaction of the gases based on the Joule-Thomson effect. Some important methods for the liquefaction of the gases are number one, Faraday's method. In this method, the cooling is produced by using a freezing mixture of the ice and the various salt. The gases like the sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide and the chlorine etc. can be liquefied by this method under their own pressure. The second important method for the liquefaction of the gases is Linz method. In this method, cooling is produced by free and sudden expansion of the compressed gas into a low pressure region through a small nozzle repeatedly, thus ultimately they get liquefied. As you can see here in a diagram that the fresh air enters to the compressor where the gas is highly compressed at 200 atmosphere. Then passed through the refrigerating liquid, the gas follows the pipes and comes out through a small nozzle to the expansion chamber as you can see here where the pressure of the expansion chamber is very low that is one atmosphere and the gas get cooled. By repeating this process several times, the gas change into the liquid state. Third method for the liquefaction of the gases is the Claude method. In this method, the cooling is produced by a free and sudden expansion of the compressed gas into a low pressure region through a small nozzle as a companion by doing mechanical work using usually by pushing back a piston. Remember that all the gases including the hydrogen and the helium can be liquefied by this method because here the cooling produced is greater than that produced in the Linz method. This process is repeated again and again and ultimately the gas is liquefied. As you can see here in our diagram that the process is the same as in the Linz method but here the gases also do the mechanical work by pushing back a piston. So here the cooling is greater than that produced in the Linz method. Don't forget to like this video and share it with all your friends and subscribe this channel Digital Chemistry.